Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming and sometimes hair so if that sounds like a thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not going to see here on YouTube. So, as you know, I'm redoing my like top 5 series, which I started like 2 years ago and then just kind of stopped. Last month we did first cleansers and today I'm going to talk you through some of my favourite cleansers. Your basic cleansers. Water activated cleansers. There is a lot in today's video, um, so if anybody wants to timestamp the cleansers, please feel free to. I know people like doing that. We're going to start from the cheapest and go up to the more expensive, the more premium cleansers. Bearing in mind with these cleansers, I haven't been like, it's good for its price. Whether it's five pounds, whether it's 40, that it's one of my favorite. And remember, cheaper doesn't mean worse, Aurora. Let's talk about the Ordinary's Squalane Cleanser. At £5.50, this is good for pretty much all skin types, especially irritated skin. I've got asked about this product a lot, actually. It's, it's, I've been trying it for a while. How long have I been trying it for? I don't know. I, I tried it for about three weeks and then I gave it to my friend because he didn't have a cleanser and then I bought it again. So it's probably my least favourite out of my favourites, if that makes sense. But it's also a cleanser that I've been reaching for a lot. Between this and the Glow Recipe and um, Blueberry one, these are the ones that I like will take away with me pretty much whatever one I can grab first. It's got that consistency that to begin with, it's like a cleansing, how, how do I explain it? It's like a, <laughs> it's like a thicker cleansing milk. And as you start to rub away on the website, it says it changes into an oil texture. It doesn't do that, but it does get a lot softer. Of course, this contains squalane. You'll often see it being referred to as a skin identical ingredient. And that's because it occurs naturally within our sebum. And it helps protect against trans epidermal water loss. If you've like really fucked up your skin, this is a great cleanser to go for. Just kind of helps rebuild that structure of your skin. There's not really a lot to say about this cleanser other than it is good. Like it's a very, very good cleanser. It's one of those cleansers where um, you put it on your skin, you kind of like feel it and it's like, is it still on my face? Is it doing anything? But I do like those cleansers because remember a cleanser doesn't have to foam up in order to mean it's working. On the same kind of level, we have a Beauty Bay's Cleansing Gel. This is £6.50 and it really is for all skin types. This is such a simple cleanser, like such a simple cleanser. With avocado oil as its main cleansing ingredient. And prebiotics keep the skin barrier healthy again. You also have my new best friend glycerin in there, helping keep the skin nice and moisturized and prevent it drying out. And this cleanser really does kind of like prevent that like dry feeling that you get from um, after cleansing. You know, that tight skin feeling. So that's nice. And it's got panthenol in it as well, which is nice and soothing on the skin. So really, really good for irritated skin. This cleanser, as I said, gives such a nice cleanse without any stripping feeling. Again, it's one of those cleansers where you think is it's actually there kind of thing. You do have a nice slip to your skin as well. So there's no tugging, there's no pulling. And I believe this cleanser is available pretty much worldwide and um, Beauty Bay deliver everywhere. Now you guys are gonna shit yourself because this is the second time I featured a CeraVe product after saying that I'd probably never review it. But I did ask for your favorite CeraVe products in that video. And you know, I listened. A lot of the products I still don't like. Quite a few of them actually stung, but I have heard that the ingredients are different in America to what they are in Europe. But I have been trying their Salicylic Acid Smoothing Cleanser. This is nine pounds and it's actually great for dry skin. I'm using it with oily skin and I really, really enjoy it. CeraVe is always like, like like two or three pounds more expensive than I think it's gonna be. They say that this cleanser is perfect for rough, dry, bumpy skin. It contains free essential ceramides like the majority of the CeraVe products. Salicylic acid, of course, and hyaluronic acid in the form of sodium hyaluronate. Maybe, no. So of course it has the salicylic acid in to gently exfoliate your skin. This, um, it's not drying at all. You can like foam it up on your face, kind of leave it there just for like, a, like 30 seconds to a minute. So it can do its job like massaging away and it doesn't feel like it's drying you out whatsoever. The, uh, one issue with this, when you apply it to damp skin, make sure that your skin isn't dripping in any way. I had like a drop of water in my eyebrow, but the cleanser got in and then dripped into my eye and it stung so, so bad. That would probably happen with any cleanser. Um, but yeah, this stung a lot. Not only that, but you have a form of uh, polyhydroxy acid in there, which is again, a more gentler version of AHA working strictly on that top layer 
layer of skin. You have those amazing ceramides. You have ceramide NP, AP, and EOP, which while ceramides work great on their own, when teamed up together, they're super effective at keeping our skin barrier healthy and happy and keeping our skin hydrated as well. They're like the building blocks of your skin. On that same note, we have cholesterol in here as well, which again helps strengthen the skin barrier and keeps us staying hydrated. And you have niacinamide in here as well. Amazing for sebum control, evening out skin tone. On that note, the Cosrx Salicylic Acid Daily Gentle Cleanser. It's £12.7 and this is great for oily skin and I really do think it really is only for oily skin. I hated this when I first tried it and I'm not really sure why. It reminded me, no I do know why, it reminded me of the old fashioned like um, oil stripping cleansers but then I tried it again more recently and it feel, felt a lot more gentle. Maybe my skin was just in a bad place but I would still only say it's really really for those people with oily skin. What's that? Oh, it's my shirt. I love this in summer, strictly, really, strictly only in summer, because summer, as someone who has oily skin, I feel congested. I feel constantly greasy. My pores look like this, just everywhere, all over my face. So this does an amazing job at just decongesting my skin. Obviously, it has salicylic acid in there to help exfoliate deeper into the skin. Obviously, to help with black hairs and white hairs, but you also have citric acid in there as well. So an AHA, again, to help with all those dead skin cells on the top layer of skin. Now, there is tea tree in here, and I know a lot of people can be sensitive to tea tree, but tea tree played a huge part in um, getting my spots and breakouts under control when I was a lot younger. If you don't have oily skin, I would say this is maybe a little bit too drying, and I would recommend the CeraVe one over this if you have drier skin. Of course, we have the Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser at $16 for all skin types. And it really, really is for all skin types. Obviously, this is gonna be in here. This is my go-to cleanser all year round, every day. This is like my, my good, good cleanser. Any state that my skin is, it's there for me. <laughs> it's one of the first cleansers that I genuinely really loved using and I'd never thought of cleansing as a fun step. Back in the day I used to see it as something you just had to get done before you can move on to all the fun steps. And it's one of the first cleansers I used that genuinely didn't leave me with that squeaky clean feeling. So of course you have matcha in here which is a strong antioxidant. I believe it's something like 40% matcha in here. Hemp seed oil, which is hydrating. Oat kernel extract, amazing for dry skin. It's soothing. It contains fatty acids, lipids. But yeah, I love this. If you wanna know more about it, please go and watch my Crave Beauty review um, all about it. <laughs> Terrible sentence. Next up is the Troy Arake. I, it's not pronounced like that. I just don't know how to pronounce it properly. Axon Oil Cut Cleansing. This is more, we're going towards the more expensive side now. This is £37.99. And this is for sensitive acne prone skin. Axon means acne sensitive. I'm gonna be honest, I, I hate that I love this product so much. They originally gifted it to me like back in the day. Um, and I used it like every day. I loved it. I still love it. It was amazing. It smells great, but not like fake fragrance. Then I went to buy it. I saw how much it was and I was like, oh. I was like, I'm gonna do it anyway. For me, Troy R.O.K. is a brand whose products just do what they, they're meant to do. They just work. And I know that sounds really stupid, but nowadays a lot of products claim to do a lot of different things and sometimes they just don't do the job they're supposed to do. But yeah, this was amazing. I bought it and then like the week after I bought it, I left it in an Airbnb and I nearly cried. I was so angry. <laughs> This cleanser is calming, it's soothing. Cleansing without stripping, again, it's one of those cleansers that you just rub on your face and you, you just don't know if it's still there, but your fingers are just gliding so nicely over the skin. And there is no irritation whatsoever, whatsoever. They claim that this is down to their micro emulsion technique. I've never heard of this before, but this basically ensures a gentle cleanse that effectively removes impurities, including excess sebum. So it's able to do all the jobs like stronger cleansers can do, without the irritation. It contains papaya fruit water to help calm your skin. And you can smell that, but it doesn't smell fake fragrancy. You know, like it doesn't smell like, like a body shop body butter or something like that. It's just a hint of something. You're like, oh, what is that? They don't make a huge point of that. Like it's not a fun fruity cleanser. It's a serious cleanser. You've got soap wart extract, which is a natural surfactant. Um, so again, doesn't irritate or strip the skin. But yeah, I love it. I personally think it's really worth the price. Their cleanser and their Axon um, clay mask for me are some of my favorite products of all time ever. Products I now can't do without despite the price tag. 
Finally, we have the Holy Frog Shasta AHA Refining Acid Wash. This is, again, I really think for all skin types, they say it's oily skin, dry, rough skin, and this is $38. I mentioned this in my Hicks and Shits video for February with Robert that this is the first cleanser I've been really excited about and genuinely love using since Crave Beauty's Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. Cleansers don't excite me all that much, but for some reason, this has really, really interested me. Not for some reason, I know why. Usually when I think of exfoliating cleansers, I do immediately think of the COSRX salicylic acid one, the kind of way it's a little bit drying and I know I have to follow up with nice moisturizers, moisturizing and hydrating products. But this cleanser is nothing like, nothing like that at all. Or it's not drying, it doesn't irritate. Usually with products that contain like a chemical exfoliator, you can kind of smell that it's in there. This actually contains five types of AHA. So you have your glycolic acid, mandalic, lactic, tartaric, and citric acid, all working to help exfoliate those top layers of skin, evening out skin tone, exfoliating and gently brightening the skin. This also contains tamanu oil. This helps repair the skin barrier and has been known to help with those dark patches as well. And one of the loves of my life, aloe vera, which has a nice, slightly moisturizing, but more importantly, calming effect on the skin. This honestly feels like a nice, creamy face mask. Like, I love putting it on and then leaving it on there for a little bit and gently massaging around, really giving the product some time to work on my skin. And I, I honestly, don't do this, but I feel like I could leave the product on my skin for like half an hour and my skin would not dry out at all. Rinse it away and honestly my skin just loves it so, so much. I genuinely look forward to using this product. Um, I really like Holy Frog's other cleansers. I'm excited to see what else they're gonna come out with this year. This product was gifted, but once it runs out, I'm, I'm buying it. I'm gonna have to buy it. <laughs> it's expensive again though, but I, I really, really like it. Let's be honest though, I get a lot of gifted products. So one pricey cleanser here and there isn't gonna kill me. But yeah, so they are are some of my top cleansers of pretty much all time, but also taking into consideration some of the cleansers you've asked me to use and cleansers that are more widely available as well. Next time we'll be talking all about exfoliators, both physical and chemical, but that is it from me now guys. I will see you next time.